Привет! Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and I'm here to help you to learn the Russian language and to know more about the Russian culture and mentality. Давайте начнем. I asked ChatGPT for a list of the 100 most commonly used Russian nouns. In this video series, I explain how to pronounce each word, explain the nuances of its usage and give examples. You can also find a link to flashcards with these words in the description. This is the third part. There will be 10 parts in total. So if you missed the first two parts, go and watch them. And let's get started. Давайте начнем. So the first word for today is друг. Друг. The voiced sound at the end of the word is pronounced as voiceless k. Друг. Друг. For a female friend, we will use the word подруга. Подруга. Pay attention to the plural forms. Друг. Друзья. Подруга. Подруги. Remember that after words много, мало, we will use the word in the genitive plural form. Много друзей. Много подруг. And now let's see which forms of these verbs we will use after numbers. So, один друг, одна подруга, два, три, четыре друга, две, три, четыре подруги, пять, двадцать друзей, пять, двадцать подруг. Let's also learn a Russian proverb. Старый друг лучше новых двух. Do you agree with this saying? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The next word is месяц. Месяц. Note that the letter я is pronounced as и here. Месяц. Месяц. Let's also look at the forms of this word after numbers. So, один месяц, два, три, четыре месяца, пять, шесть, семь, двадцать месяцев. For example, я учу русский уже три месяца. Let's continue. The next word is начало. Начало. Please remember that this word is neuter. It ends with O, but since it is unstressed, it is pronounced as E. Начало. Начало. For example, начало года – хороший повод начать изучать новый язык. Our next word is голова. Голова. This word is very simple. It refers to a body part. For example, у него необычно большая голова. But if you want to talk about the head of the company, the head of the department, you will use another word in Russian. You will say глава компании, глава департамента. And in a book, we also have глава. For example, за выходные я прочитала три главы этого романа. The next word for today, the word number 25. Ответ. Ответ. О is unstressed and is pronounced as а. Ответ. For example, я хочу получить ответ на этот вопрос. Let's move on to the next word, and our next word is город. Город. The voiced consonant at the end is pronounced as unvoiced. Город. Город. Beautiful. Например, for example, Москва – большой и красивый город. The plural form of this word is... Um, formed by adding the ending a город города the next word 
дорога, дорога. Pay attention to the stress and memorize where the stress is. Because sometimes students make uh, a common mistake. They say дорога, and дорога is another word in Russian. If you mean a road, you need to say дорога, дорога. For example, например, эта дорога до озера очень живописная. The next word is голос, голос. Once again, pay attention to the pronunciation of the unstressed O. Голос, голос. It is a very simple word which means a voice. For example, ей нравится его голос. This word also means a vote. For example, we say отдать свой голос за кандидата. It means проголосовать за кандидата. We are approaching the end of our list and we have only two words for today. So, the word number 29. Книга. Книга. This is a word students learn in their first lessons. So, let me introduce you to a more complex phrase. Красная книга. Красная книга is a Russian term for the list of animals and plants that need special protection because they are endangered. For example, например, это животное из красной книги. And the last word for today is вода. Вода. Another simple word unless you have to change the case. Pay attention to the stress. Вода in the nominative case, but воду in the accusative case. You can say, for example, я хочу воду, я вижу воду. So the stress shifts to a different syllable. Unfortunately, there is no rule for it. You just have to memorize it. And I recommend you listening to native speakers to memorize better and faster where the stress falls in words. And if you don't know what to listen to in Russian, I suggest our podcast Ruski Blin. In the episodes of this podcast, my colleague and friend and I uh, discuss various topics, uh, explain vocabulary, share our thoughts and emotions, and uh, also talk about Russian culture and history. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Support me with a like and subscription. And see you next time. Увидимся. Пока-пока.